Um, okay, okay. We're officially starting now. Um, we are doing the third set of eight man raids in Final Fantasy XIV. And yeah, let's just continue the story. Let's find out, let's find out what's going on. So we left off with pandemonium in the ethereal sea all of a sudden. Don't know how it got there. Don't know how Elpis joined this timeline. I mean, it's all the same timeline, but like it... Pandemonium is here. <laughs> so how and why? That's what we need to find out. Eater of souls. Ooh, I like that thumbnail. Uh, Rizano breathes, breathes a sigh of relief at your arrival. Ah, oh, Gray. I had a feeling you would arrive soon. Urgent tidings always seems to carry you in their wake after all. And Master Fortuno recently sent word regarding his investigation. It seems he's uncovered information regarding Professor Claudian's whereabouts and the sudden appearance of pandemonium in the ethereal sea. We would do well to meet with him at once. If you have no objections, I ask that you proceed to the Asia scope forthwith. I shall make uh, the necessary arrangements and join you shortly. Oh, I was like, how do I get down there again? A little lift operator. Is this the right place? No, I hate this song. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. This is the worst song in the game. I will not listen to that. I refuse. <laughs> okay, that's where we're not going. Where does it want me to go? Oh, okay. So... What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? I took too long to start the story. I think I killed my party. He's alive! Okay, I need my map again. Um... Uh, how do you go up? Am I supposed to hop in? I hopped in. I don't know why I can't figure out where I need to go. I am very directionally challenged in this game. Wait, so I do have to hear the song? I... I hate this song so much. That is like the worst song in the entire game. <laughs> Every song is baller except for that one. Hi, Rich. How's it going? Welcome on in. How's it going? It sounds too scratchy. It does. It's horrible. Oh my god. Look at where we are, y'all. Last time we were here, we were doing our final walk. We were doing our final walk. Oh my god, last time we were here, everybody was lined up. <sighs> Crazy. That takes you down into the ethereal sea. This is... It made me sad. I'm trying really hard not to cry right now. Oh man, the last time we were here, we were... We had started our final walk and we were going to... The, the edge of the earth. We... We almost died. We had so many people to save. We were stopping the final days. That was... This area, man. Uh, there's a lot of places in Endwalker I haven't been able to go back to, or if I did, it's because the story forced me to go there. Thankfully, we're not 
going back to Ultimate Thule. I don't think I can handle that still. It's been almost a year. It's been almost a year since I did my final walk, and this game still gets me so emotional. <laughs> so, so, so emotional. How's it going, Rich? Welcome on in. Aww. Jeremy on. <laughs> what are you up to? What is everybody up to today? How was those weekend? Woo! And then you just see pandemonium there. So wild. Tiffy! Are you out there? Please come back and visit me. Whoa, look at all the vines. That's cool. Can you come visit this place just whenever you want? No, oh man! I would totally just vibe here. Look at that. Pandemonium just out and about in the ethereal sea. Like, what the heck is going on here? I wish you could just come vibe here. I really like this area. Oh, I wanted to look over the edge. I'm trying to savor every moment I can with some of these zones that you just can't get back to. Okay. Let's do it. I thank you for answering my summons with haste. Let us forego formalities and jump straight to the heart of the matter. Namely, the whereabouts of Professor Claudian, who has not been seen since his ill-advised journey to Azu's Law. A subsequent expedition discovered an airship in the vicinity of the Aether Chemical Research Facility. Although the vessel clearly belonged to the professor, he was nowhere to be found. There were signs that someone, perhaps the man himself, had forced their way into the facility, so this trail was duly followed, however. The trail led nowhere, in the most literal sense. T'was almost as if an entire sector of the facility had been wrested from existence. Further investigation confirmed the expedition party's suspicions, Nigh on the entire sector of Azu's Law has been teleported elsewhere. Teleported? To where? We believe that its destination was none other than the Ethereal Sea. Here, where its elegant facilities reconstituted as the Halls of Pandemonium to great success as you can see. So that means Professor Claudian is in there? In that monstrous fortress? That is our leading theory. We are certain enough, at least, to risk sending you into the, its depths in search of the missing man. We got this. Yet, before we do, there is another pressing matter. While Pandemonium may appear firmly sealed, an unknown entity was recently spied crawling forth from its gates. Dang. What a cool image. We observed its behavior with the Asia scope, and to our horror, witnessed it gorging upon the surrounding Aether like a ravenous beast. Why does that sound like Xenos? That's a very Xenos thing to do. <laughs> what? It must be stopped. 
The ethereal sea harbors the souls of the departed. Tis the wellspring from which all creatures are born. If its flow were disturbed, life itself may cease to be. That's not good. Uh, reading manga, eating pizza, cleaning my bathroom, and doing push-ups. That's a really productive day. What manga are you uh, reading right now? Thank you guys for the videos daily cupcakes. What cupcake is everybody having today? I want to know. Precisely. Its safety must be our first priority. Rid us of this menace, Gray. Then we will be at liberty to investigate what wicked machinations are afoot. This memory crystal was recovered from Claudian's airship. Take it with you. It may yet provide insight into the enigma of pandemonium. Without Themis, there will be no army of phantom warriors. I realize you are more than capable in combat, but are you certain you'll be all right? Themis isn't the only one who can summon our illusory allies. As long as I'm free to focus on my foe. Well, who, okay. So is this first option referring to us having the Azim soul crystal? But didn't they tell... Was it Elidibus who told us to be careful we only have so many tries with it? Or was it Hifladeus who told us that prior to meeting him in Elpis? I, don't we only get to call upon that like a handful of times or something like that? Like we gotta be careful with how much we use it. Okay, it was Hithy. Yeah, it was like an Amorot. Hithy and Amorot. When he handed us the soul crystal. That's right. So, okay. Interesting. We'll go with the first uh, option. He isn't. Why, of course. I should have known someone of your talents would master even the ancient arcane arts. Apologies for my failure of imagination. No, it's okay, Nim. It's okay. Once we are freed of the looming specter of pandemonium, you must promise to share your knowledge for the sake of thorough reports, of course. In the meanwhile, I shall focus my efforts on providing you with what information and support I can. I shall gather researchers from the confluence to construct a means to convo convey you to your destination. The rest is in your hands. Ooh! And a... Baseos? Light party. Full party. Ooh, this song. This sounds cool. Dang, this is cool. What is this song? I love this. <gasps> you said our little Aspia crystal. Holy moly, I need this orchestration. My feast must not end. My feast must not be interrupted. This is cool! I- I need this orchestration stat. Alright, here we go! Grey Parsegi girl! This is so different from like... Any other music in the game. Dad. 
death brings me no peace. Such is my fate. That's quite the voice. I like my it. My strength is without equal. Flames take you. Oh, I thought I had the thing. I do not have the thing. My every breath is laced with magics. Really cool fight. Oh. You can wield such power that got really small for a second. Flames take you. They all, we almost this died from that. Kill you. Ooh, the violin in that song. Always more killing to be done, and I'm always happy to oblige. Make it fun for me, eh? Ow. The first drops are always oh. a sweet Oh my day. god, I did not get out of that in time. I wanted to finish my combo. <laughs> I have enough of you. Post Endwalker has some of the best in game music. Like, no kidding. You are not wrong. Ice bind you. 
Hold on. Entertain me, my darlings. Flames take you! I'll get caught up on chats here in just a second. Oh, I just wasted my second win. I did not realize I was fully healed. I'll leave you, bloody embattered. breaking Inside this thing, are those like poison souls or something? You're gonna love 11 and 12 music. Oh, I'm so excited! I love the cat tar. They're still not allowing me to travel yet. Oh man, that really sucks. But at least you were able to get in, so I'm glad you're able to get in. Let me. Eat on all the things. Here we go. Eleven for sure. No souls of the source. I what? Actually, don't answer that. I'll figure it out for myself. <laughs> I'll figure it out for for myself. Yay! I did it! I did it! Appreciated. Welcome on in. What is your favorite mythological creature? Mine is the Minotaur. Welcome on in. So basically, what you're saying is that I need to not go back to Aether tonight. <laughs> this is so cool. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna. Get a photo real quick, cause that heckin' cool. No, that's not the last thing I want to be doing. <laughs> Let's reset it. I forgot that my boots are white. 
from my Vinod cosplay in the game as well. That is so cool. I like ye. What does this look like? Oh, too bright, too bright. Take it off. Can we... I do kind of like just the little subtle extra lighting. Y'all know me, the G-posing queen. We like the photos. Uh, who is this person I just found in this corner of the internet? Well, I'll have you know. First of all, hi, welcome on into my labyrinth of swords. I'm Minotaris, but you can call me Minnow. I'm a variety streamer with an emphasis on horror games and Final Fantasy XIV. But every now and then, we will switch it up and we'll play some Rust. We'll do some shooters. We'll play, like, other games, like cozy games sometimes. We'll uh, do just chatting streams. So you get a little bit of everything over here, but mostly horror games and mostly Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I'm a metalhead. I'm a cosplayer. Uh, I love being outside. I got two cats. Um, that's a little, that's like a quick rundown of me. Uh, but tell us a little bit about yourself. What games do you like to play? Do you play Final Fantasy XIV? I see you're a horror fan as well. Um, but yeah, let me know. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for, for stopping by. And if you do play fourteen, you'd like to get in on the raids with us, we'd love to have you. If you're able to to get over here. There's been some server issues. Uh, it's, it's been, it's been kind of interesting with the server My issues turn. today. My turn! Okay. Well, we're gonna, we're about to go into a cutscene, so I will get caught up on tree or get caught up on chats here in just a second. Impressive work, Gray. Their memories of your tenacity were not embellished in the slightest. What? Oh, Athena? What are you doing here? She's so cute! I like the views of this play, too. Do not be alarmed. A proper introduction shall, shall set your mind at ease. I am Athena, chief keyword of Pandemonium, wife to La Habrea and mother to Eric. And it is I who made Pandemonium anew in the underworld. Oh. Okay. In a manner of speaking, I am the source of all your recent troubles. Honest? Okay. We like an honest woman. <laughs> I must say, I'm not- uh, I did not imagine I would meet you in this age. A slight miscalculation, but perhaps a fortunate one. For your deeds in the past have left quite an impression on me. But she knows all about us? I mean, it makes sense, but like... Oh, duh, because we traveled to Elpis, so of course she knows. I understand you have reason to be wary, but I, ass I assure you there is no need. I thought she died. How is she here? I know not what La Habrea has told you of me, but all that I have done, I have done out of sincere scientific curiosity. That appetite yet remains, even after my rebirth. Conf conflict is the furthest thing from my mind, and I ask that you at least hear me out before brandishing your weapon. Okay, I'm all ears. You were reborn, give Claudine back, so you have no intention of halting your research? These are all really good options. Uh, you were reborn? In a sense, yes. Twas the only way I could see my research completed. The myriad souls floating in the ethereal sea provide all the new material I require. And your professor, Professor Claudian, proved a most welcome surprise. Worry not, for I treat all my tools with care, especially those with which I will grasp godhood. This is like a mixture of like Xenos and Fandingus. Like, okay. A little crazy here.
You are as stubborn as La Habrea, I see. Although I speak in earnest, you refuse to hear the meaning of my words. Perhaps you would be better served by a different teacher. Luckily, you already possess the tools I require to make one for you. Oh. Hey, that's mine. Don't touch it. Don't touch it! Yes, that crystal teems with memories. Memories of two souls you know quite well. La Habrea and Eric. I shall stitch them into the fabric of two errant souls that with their help you may come to see clearly. Wait, is she trying to... Is she trying to bring them back somehow? Wait, hey! Oh, hello there. I... What? <laughs> if she can bring them back, can she just bring back my favorite peoples, please? I need Hithlidaeus and I need Emmett. <laughs> can you bring them back, please? Please? Hi, Zuri. Welcome on in. How's it going? You... Uh, how... Where are we? Surely these two have much to tell you of me, and I would have you listen. Perhaps then you shall better understand me, my desire for godhood. Okay, simmer down, Athena. Simmer down. There is another, but their soul has proven difficult to work with. However, with these memories, I may very well manage to weave together something presentable. You have a place in my plans. I do hope that in time you come to realize that cooperation is the best path forward. Oh, jeez. I have little understanding of where we are, yet somehow I am unsurprised to find you here. At present, I have more questions than answers. Perhaps you can help me address this inequity. Is there somewhere we can speak without fear of interruption? Wild. I'm a little, I'm a little confused. I'm not gonna lie. But I, I hope this all makes sense. So basically, Athena wants to become a god, which is kind of fitting for her name, so, uh... <laughs> that's what I've gathered so far. Alright, let's turn in this quest. Well, let's, let's see what Lil Habrea has to say. Some hints. I can glean from the surroundings, but I would prefer you simply cut through this knot of question. I don't know how long it's been, Gray, but it's good to s good as ever to see your face but that it were under more conventional circumstances. Just where are we? And what events have led to this unexpected reunion? Oh, would just you find out. Like you're in the ethereal sea, you are surrounded by death. <laughs> ah, yes, I remember you telling us about this memory crystal. To think that it contained our memories. Interesting. Okay. So well, that's what it contains. This is not... Uh, this is a lot to take in. Not least of all, the fact that you hail from the future. <laughs> I searched for you after a time, but could find no trace. Now I know why. Sorry. Welcome to my world now. <laughs> this is wild. Oh, they look scared. Oh, it's okay, guys. Wait, hold on. We literally killed La Habrea, or trapped him in a white aura site, and here he is, back here again. <laughs> Our age had its share of surprises. If my memories are to be believed, the supposedly world-ending final days came upon us, yet here we are in a future where you at least exist. Ooh, is this about to be a deep conversation? Do I need tissues? 
Do we overcome the despair that befalls us? Do we find a way to live on? About that. <laughs> About that. He knows. He has to know, right? Question without simple answers, it seems. Let us take heart that life endured in some form, but as... As but memories, we may never have the luxury of the larger picture. Regardless, now that it has come to pass, this future must be protected from Athena's scheming. Let this conviction guide our ever action. But this is like Elpis Law of Rhea, right? This isn't the unsundered Law of Rhea. Right? <laughs> Agreed, but as memories given fleeting from, we are bereft of any physical or magical talents. We cannot aid Grey in battle. Nay, Athena meant us to speak and nothing more. But though we may be tools, we need not be slaves to her whims. We will tear ourselves from her grasp and shatter her ambitions. I must wonder how she knew of our history with Grey. Well, there was a time we were in Elpis before Pandemonium, so maybe she knew us from then? Likely she pos uh, possessed some means by which to observe events within Pandemonium, either while they were occurring or after the fact. Regardless, her knowledge far exceeds our own, a shortcoming we must remedy at once. Or that too, that makes sense. We would do well to learn more of the pandemonium now dominating the landscape of souls. Gray, Gray's colleagues will doubtless prove to be of value in that respect. Hi, people from the future, meet people from the past. Welcome. It's okay. I love the idea that when you summon others to fight with you in raids, you're summoning other shard versions of a Zim. I know, me too! That warms my heart so much whenever that happens. This lot of Rhea is the memories of the original one from Elpis, not the one we fought. Basically, time displaced Elpis. Well, Brea. Okay, so I was right then. I was right. Uh, I imagine this lot of Rhea is equal to the Emmet and Hithy at the final walk, more of a living memory. Oh, okay. That also makes sense too. I uh, gotta dip uh, for now. Take it easy. All right, Remnant, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope, you, I hope you have a great rest of your day. As always, it was good to see you in chat, and I'll catch you around. Bye! Might be back later. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. If anyone, for uh, those of you who are just joining in, if you would like to get in on the second set of the third uh, Post and Walker 8-man raids, let me know. We are on Dynamis. And uh, the server is Raffalasia. So if you'd like to join, we'd love to have you. You'll just need to coordinate with Shrimp Chips or Himbo, Joestar, and the game. Are those two over there researchers from this era? We must share what we know at once, that we might piece together this vexing puzzle. Pandemonium Awakens. La Habrea is eyeing the frightened researchers with a mix of curiosity and de derision. Why do your companions hesitate to approach? We may be unusual visitors, but time is of the essence. Bring them here. So demanding. Bring them here. Right now. Although you may be but a confluence of memory, it is an honor to meet the personages I have only read of in Gray, Gray's reports. As a researcher, this is beyond exciting, but I admit to no small measure of fear as well. I know what you mean. I can scarcely stop my legs from shaking. We're powerless to do aught but speak. I see no reason why you should be afraid. It isn't my life I fear for. I only fear that I might not have the chance to ask you all the questions, now burning a hole in my mind. We stand before two of the ancients who hold priceless knowledge beyond the ken of any of our peers. But what purpose does fear serve if not to be confronted and conquered? 
to that end, we shall share with you our records and perhaps together we can find the thread which will lead us safely out of this conundrum. Information shall be our most precious resource, for that is the only weapon we can wield in these, in these forms. Our memories are at your complete disposal. We can start with Athena, whose thirst for discovery would see all life consumed. Her desires haven't changed. She still seeks to transcend her mortal existence so that she might unravel the mysteries of life. She would become a god. A nebulous concept, but Athena had her own ideas on what divinity entailed. In her mind, a god can create souls at will. Thus, she chose the underworld, or the ethereal sea, as it is known in this age. As the staging ground for her final experiments, here lies a practically bottomless well of aether. Even if it means stemming the flow of life itself, she intends to continue her work. She thinks of nothing else. We caught a glimpse of Athena as we came into this world. Her smile, her voice, they were just as I remember. Without even realizing it, I found myself feeling an affection for her. Don't look at me like I've gone mad. I'm not asking you to join her side. I know the true Eric would never want that, but these emotions remain, in memory if nowhere else. We shall remain here to compile what information we can. You must inflate Pandemonium and seek out Athena. I would ask that you leave the memory crystal with us. It may hold secrets which have yet to be unveiled. All that's left is to cross the menacing threshold. Shall we take take a closer look? What's a BK crown? I don't think I've heard of that, but congrats on that! I enjoyed if I wasn't also leveling an ult. No worries, Zuri. You're good. You're totally good. We'll be doing the 24 man raids uh, soon. Not today, but like soon within like the next week or so. So if you're available then, we'd like to have you at least for the 24 man. Uh, I have one question for you. Does the word orosite mean aught to you? <laughs> Bold of you to ask about the orosite, La Habrea. Because that's what we trapped you in in the future. <laughs> Future you gets trapped in one of those. Arasite? Why, yes, there are a few records of its, of its existence. It mainly makes appearances in the legends of Ivalice and in tales concerning the Asian La. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. <laughs> well, it tells concerning an entity known as an Asian. This personage is associated with Black Arasite known as the Heart of Sabik, a source of considerable power. I see, so time has not buried it. I forgot that we were unlocking a quest. <laughs> We almost told him that future him gets stuck in one of those. <laughs> it's really funny to me. <clears throat> My venture crown, so I have every crafter and gather at 100 in one of the Trinity tank DP. Oh, that's heckin' awesome, Azrael! That's heckin' awesome, congrats on that! Uh, you've arrived in Raphalasia, Raff sweet! Welcome on in! BK crown, Burger King crown, mentor status in the game. I like I like calling it Burger King crown. That makes sense. Oh, wait. You weren't joking. That's what people refer it to, <laughs> refer to it as. I want your crown back. Oh, did you lose your crown, Cog? I should have taken on the little flower whenever I came back to the game after taking a hiatus for like seven months after my final walk. I should have got my little flower. So that way, at least it's not like I'm a sprout, but it's the closest I'll ever get to having a sprout next to my name. From the outside, Pandemonium looks no different than it does in the past. However, there is no guarantee that the inside will be familiar. 
You would do well to secure the area near the entrance first. Once it has been cleared of threats, La Habrea and I can approach and shall begin our exploration of the interior. The portal should convey you to Pandemonium's gates. I hardly need to tell you to keep your weapon at the ready. Oh my god, for a second I thought I got disconnected. I knew you would come. Dennis! I never lost faith that we would meet again. I told you as much, did I not? I understand you may be confused. I was too at first. You see, I'm... I am not the true Themis. I was made by Athena, molded from one of the many souls at her disposal. I am only an illusion built from memory. No more than- no more real than La Habrea or Eric. Okay, so that kind of makes sense what's going on here. Even so, I believe I have a grasp on the situation. This is the distant future. Can she make a mold of Hithy for me, please? Like, Hithy and Emmett, real quick? Just mold them? Just so I could say hi. Okay. I just need to see my husbandos. A future where Athena lives once more, although the means of her rebirth are yet beyond me. You are here to stop her. Have I have I the right of it so far? Very good. I would be disappointed if you did not rise to her challenge. Although I am sorry to say that I cannot aid you, my creator has tampered with my essence and I am oddly inclined to act in her interest. I can do not but offer you words of warning. We will fight and it cannot be avoided. Oh, wait, we're gonna fight the Themis? Again? <laughs> it's like, we'll have you know I fought you. <laughs> Already, and I locked you away in the crystal tower. But then you came to your senses and you helped us out. There is no need for that pained expression. Remember, I am but an illusion. Nothing worth shedding tears over. We can free you just as we freed Aji. I would feel terrible if I had to trounce Elidibus again. <laughs> I'll look at this. I'm curious to know what Themis says. <laughs> I know not what is in your minds, but I must stress again that I cannot defy the urge to stand against you. Athena's hold over me is unyielding. Still, I would ask that you listen carefully to the advice I offer you now. Athena has prepared a new vessel to replace Eric so that she may become a god. By gathering the souls readily available in the Sea of Aether, she tempers her own essence. Yet these souls are faint, diffuse. She doubts whether they are sufficient for her goals, so she has turned her gaze to you. Despite your inner, despite your thin aether, you managed to lay happy low, and Athena would know the secret of your strength. To that end, she has prepared an experiment for her observation. Fight for your life against Athena's creation, and in doing so, give her the knowledge she desires. Uh oh. 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 Ew. Ew. What is this? I love the sinister music in this game. What hideous monstrosity is this? Is this what we're going to fight on? Like, so many references in here. Like, this is giving me very Shadowbringer vibes. This, this boss fight gives me lots of Shadowbringer vibes and I'm here for it. That does not look good. <laughs> 
That looks not good. What's happening? Athena has made her move. We must find a way to reach her or all is lost. I'm very excited, Cal. This is heckin' cool. I cannot wait to dive into this next fight. We can do little but hope for Grey's success. This is a massive problem. Ooh. This is crazy. Kind of gives me a little Alexander vibes. A little, um... Mount Golg vibes. A little Hades vibes. Like, there's a lot going on with this, with this boss. This is insane. Pandemonium. Once a massive lifeless stone, now imbued with a soul. Athena has grown much since her death at La Habrea's hand. Although the souls she creates are imperfect, they act with absolute obedience. I know you shall cut your way through this monster, as you have so many others. Then you shall come before me. Do not hesitate to do what you must, for that is the only way to stop Athena. I like the music. The tenth circle, let's take it go. This is wild. Light party. Full party. Kaching. Kaching. It's so cool seeing your party just come up out of the ground like that. I am Pandemonium. From countless failures have I wrought miracles. Into soulless vessels I breathe life. Demonic dungeon. I love the sound of this. This is cool. I like the music already as well. <laughs> kind of gives me like creepy doll vibes with this song. So I guess I'll move to... This prison offers no escape. Do, do I need to eat these? I don't know. Stay away from that. Okay. 
God, the violin. Ooh, I love violin so much. A tangled morsel awaiting death. I don't know what these little Dorito thingies are. All parts lead back to me. I offer a glimpse of Lady Athena's power! I think I barely got out of that. <laughs> Stay where you are. A tangled morsel awaiting death. To me. Oh, oh, this side, this side. I guess because that's the direction he's looking. And also the icons on the These ground. bars are unbreakable. This is cool. Stay where you are. Bear yourselves to me. Your punishment shall be unending. All took a tumble. For Athena, for Mother. I'll give you special cells. Stay where you are. Wet like 
I gun to change? Oh, I didn't even see that the limit break was available. I was very, very locked in. Oh, I'm just trying to survive. Me back to me. Oh, no! No! For <laughs> mother. I thought I was going to fall off the ledge at the very last second. <laughs> That was cool. Wow, look how cool they all look. I love it. Oh yeah. I haven't done a player combination in a really long time. Oh, definitely need that. Give me that orchestration. No. Wait, insanity. That's not it though, right? Is oh no, insanity is from uh Vothry. You have to roll No! You stole it from me! Hundreds of times? Look! Look! I've done it one time! <laughs> I deserve it! I did it one time! <laughs> I'm not gonna send you to jail. I'll send you to jail just so you can party with us down here in jail, but like, you don't deserve to be in jail. <laughs> did it? Oh. Okay, yeah. We're just waiting on it. That was a cool fight. I like that one a lot. I can see myself running this one quite often. I enjoyed that one. It was cool. It wasn't super hard, and it was cool. That samurai isn't rolling? Oh. Roll! Roll, roll, roll! Already check. Oh, are you just trying to get their attention or something? I wonder if they DC'd. They may have DC'd from the server. Oh, try and jack the loot. No, no, they said they went to get water. Oh, did, did everyone just run off? Can you? Whee! That was kind of fun. <laughs> Likely story. <laughs> That's what I like to say too, Tal. I like to say that a lot. Dang, that's cool. Um... It, it, it had to be done! It had to be done. We got a sweep. Sweep. Their name would be grayed out. I didn't think about that. You're right. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Alright, all of today's work. We gotta clean up that mess. Gotta clean up that pandemonium. Uh, okay. Can't stop that. All things considered, this is actually kind of cool, and I kind of want to get, like, a shot. Okay. 
after this little screenshot, we'll cue the cutscene. And we'll keep on keeping on. This place is really cool though, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like that too. Sorry y'all, I, I just really like documenting my... my journey. Through 14. I've got, like, a folder of just photos. Okay. Now we go. Now we go. This is really- it's just really cool. I just wanted to take it all in. Alright. Really, really, really pretty. Cutscene time! Eden vibes. That is cool. This is exactly what Shrimp was talking about. Well, y'all weren't here for it, but Shrimp was telling me I need to find my hot key for for taking screenshots. <laughs> that looked really cool, though. Okay. Uh, Thivis, that was a beautiful display, as always. I stand enchanted by your grace in battle. Is that? Pandemonium's final gate has been cast wide. I shall await your arrival beyond. Wow. That is so cool. It definitely gives me some Eden vibes though with um... All the rainbow colors. Apologies for not coming sooner. This space is enveloped by some fell energy and we couldn't risk venturing through it before taking due precautions. Were my eyes mistaken? Was that Themis? Tell us what you know. We must consider our next course of action carefully. <laughs> Cast a spell called Ultima? Oh, I didn't realize that. That's cool. Okay, I'll take note of that. I also take tons of screenshots. My static is annoyed with how many I take after we clear a raid. Look, it has to be done. You're so right. Pigs where it didn't happen. Like, I, <laughs> I'm i known as the G-posing queen. It has gotten so bad at me taking photos inside of Final Fantasy XIV that it spilled over into literally every game that I play. <laughs> it is... It's bad. I got the curse of the G-pose. <laughs> Sometimes I don't waste time with G-posing and I just quickly screenshot, but like, it had to be done, you know? Um, let's see, I can look back at them and remember the good times as the static changes involves exactly, exactly. I have a really, really cool photo. Um, after I did my final walk and um, came back to Revenant's Toll, and I have a photo of everyone who participated in my final walk. We're all like on our we're all on our little Argos mount in Mordana. And that is like a photo that I will cherish forever. Um one of my favorite photos. It's one of those like I can look back on and it's like, wow. It was cool to have like this whole community there just like holding my hand as I'm sobbing. <laughs> my final walk was like a 16 hour stream very very long emotional stream <laughs> and so yeah i get it it's cool to look back on those photos um uh, my girl didn't always have white hair so it's like crazy to see like the white or uh see the photos of her before she had the white hair 
Um, I used to wear like the little space buns and my hair is black with like red tips on the end. <laughs> and, um, I made a Christmas movie thing. Like a Christmas, Final Fantasy XIV Christmas montage for YouTube. And my hair didn't match my outfit, so I, I changed my hair to white, and it stayed white ever since. <laughs> and that's why my girl has white hair. Um, but yeah, I like looking back at the photos. I uh, need one sec to order dinner. Nope, you're totally good. You're totally good. We got the cutscenes. I ought to have anticipated this. If she bore witness to past events with pandemonium, Athena would have found Elidibus impossible to overlook. Few possess such a talent for magics, to say not of the emissary's discerning judgment. Hi, Jared! Welcome on in. How's it going? And so she found his soul upon the tides with, of the ethereal sea and used his memories to craft a puppet that would serve her whims. But is what uh, Themis said true? She imbued pandemonium itself with a soul? To breathe life into that which should never live, Athena's research is fast approaching its culmination. Fortunately, with the information shared with us by your friends, we've made some strides towards figuring out how to stop her. A crystal called the Heart of Sabiq may be the may be the key. The researchers related a quick but thorough history of events leading to the present. The sundering of the star, the emergence of the Asians, and the calamities that brought to bear upon... Wait, let me read this again. Hold on. The researchers related a quick but thorough history of events leading to the present. The sundering of the star, the emergence of the Asians, and the calamities that they brought to bear upon the realm. Okay. Tells that under the under other circumstances circumstances we would have considered childish fantasy, if not for a name that rang true to La Habrea's memory. <gasps> Sacred. The heart is Sabik. To you, the secret of the Ultima weapons might not least the spell known as Ultima, and a source of enduring mystery. We are told that a general from the Garland Empire was gifted this Aurasite by an Asian, that the ultimate weapon might be perfected. Is this why you want me to redo, or like go through Praetorium again, Shrimp? <laughs> the identity of this shadowy benefactor, however, remains a curious unknown. You seem to be a veritable trove of uncommon knowledge. If there is aught you are withholding. I like the this look that we're giving him. This is funny. Very well, at present, the hardest to beak itself is of greater moment. It is a creation of Athena's made during her time with the words of La Hebrea. Going through this with the graphics update has been so amazing. I like cannot wait to go through the story again on my alt character with the graphics update. This is really cool. Uh, this predates even Pandemonium's construction. She brought before us a crystal she claimed to have chanced upon, saying it contained immense power. She dubbed it Aurasite, studying it with a fervor usual, unusual even for her. The eventful fruit of her efforts was a st Stygian crystal unlike aught we had ever seen, the Heart of Sabiq. What is Aurasite? How did she find this Aurasite? Did Athena encounter Ultima the High Seraph perchance? An unexpectedly speci specific question. I gather that the Heart of Sabiq is not the only Aura site in this era. Regardless, I know not of this High Seraph. Athena was never forthcoming as to how she found the crystal, though we came to suspect that it was not of our star. Ultima the High Seraph! 
<laughs> Does anyone else want to the rain party? We have two slots open. Oh, sweet! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, not of our stars. So this is very peculiar. Much later, we discovered that our site magnifies the desires of the. How did Moon Brita come to to discover our site? That's interesting. I I would like to go back and kind of rewatch some cutscenes with uh, with Moon Brita. Much later, we discovered that Aurasite magnifies the desires of those who come to come into contact with it. This would do much to explain Athena's actions following her recovery of the crystal. Alas, this realization came too late. By the time I moved to seal the Aurasite and its insidious influence away, Athena's plot had already been laid. So, what became of the heart of Savik? I took it from Athena's laboratory after I ended her life. The density of the Aether within was unlike anything I had observed. I knew its capacity for destruction, but further analysis proved impossible. I elected to safeguard it myself. It is possible that Athena herself obscured the crystal's contents. Even were her memory stored within, I would have remained in ignorance. If she included some mechanism by which to give these memories fo uh, memories form as she did with our own. She would be reborn. Ironic that I should have protected those very memories in the name of safeguarding the star. Fate is loath to see mistakes go unpunished. This is all getting really interesting. Um, of the... What is STB again? STB Alliance Raids? I've seen people use that acronym and now I can't remember what STB is. Stormblood. Oh, okay. I... I abbreviate Stormblood as just SB and... Shadowbringers is SHB, so it throws me off when people throw the T in there. I don't know, like, that throws me off. Um, okay. I was gonna say, this all sounds really familiar. Well, not all, but some of it sounds very familiar. Uh, playing through the game, like, at least from Heaven's Word after watching a lore summary video for ARR, but personally, I loved ARRs. I, oh, let's see, I skipped all this, so I am more lost than a blind man in a mirror maze. What?! But there's so much that happens! There's so much that happens in the story. I cannot imagine uh, going through this and not doing MSQ. I know a lot of people do. Shrimp is uh, actually guilty of that. Um, but he did end up going back and playing the story. But uh, <laughs> that's just wild to me. The Evilist Alliance raids ended with the final boss being Ultima the High Seraph. That's right. Okay, that's right, that's right. The Evilist raids was a... Uh, Remember that one time I logged in and I couldn't do something because I never completed the quest for Evilus? <laughs> I didn't turn in the final quest, so we spent like an hour backtracking. <laughs> That's what I remember from Evilus. Sorta. I remember a lot more from Evilus, but that was, um... That was a big high point in my streaming career of this game. <laughs> We were like in the middle of Endwalker and we were like, oh wait, hold on, you have to go turn in the last quest. Uh, I know not why I am here, only that I must kill. I actually kind of like that. I accept that. Um. SB and STB are the same. Yeah, I'm used to people abbreviating Stormblood as SB, and then SHB is Shadowbringers. But in recent times, I've also seen people do STB, and I, for the longest time, I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but then, like, I've had, I have abbreviated Stormblood as as SB, and people have mistaken that for for Shadowbringers. So I I totally get why people throw the T in there. 
Uh, yeah, 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 we're on Ra Raffle Asia. I, why does Raffle Asia make me want to say Raffle Gator? I don't know why, but I, it makes me want to say Raffle Gator, so I'm glad I can finally get that out there. <laughs> Boo! It's a Remnant! Remnant has come back from the shadows. Shadow Race has always been. You're a sim. I don't know, man. I've had people tell me. Like, I've had people randomly approach me before in the game just talking to me. Also, Remnant, thank you so much for that sub of five months. It's much appreciated. Thank you for that continued support. Boo! You know what you could do, Remnant? You could do this. Boo! Um. <clears throat> so. Uh, I had people randomly talk to me in the game because, uh... So... Not that. Uh... In my search info, I've always put where I am in the story. So people would be like, oh, you're in Shadowbreakers? And I'm like, no, I'm in Stormblood. And they're like, oh, well, it says SB. And I'm like... And so, yeah, I've had people mistake, um... Mistake SB for Shadowbringers. It crashed! Cause I'm so skewy! I'm so skewy! Hit them with a five pan, then ignore them? <laughs> Basically. Alright, alright. Alright, let's get going. The Emissary's Judgment. I know. It's very fitting. If we're gonna fight them, it's... Calling it the Emissary's Judgment is, uh, very, very fitting. Love that. Lahabrea would discuss lingering questions concerning Athena. I have told you all I know of Athena and the many secrets she kept hidden from the world. If she indeed stored her memories within her heart of Sabiq, we must ask ourselves how they were... Awakened in this age. When was the crystal I last sighted? During my fight with the ultimate weapon in the hands of the Asuns. The first one, a duh. In which you triumphed but failed to recover the heart. Yet, according to your colleagues, there was another on the battlefield that day, an Asian. And the selfsame ASEAN was later struck down at a location known as the Aether Chemical Research Facility. I've heard of... I've heard that name, and recently, they cited Professor Claudian's disappearance. Indeed, he was tracing an ethereal signature resembling that of the memory crystal in his possession. A signature that may well have belonged to the heart of Sabiq. In which case, it is no coincidence that Athena's awakening followed. But what reason would ha would he have to bring her back to life? Was his mind not his own? Yet more questions without answers. Although Athena's essence is that of memory, her magics have not suffered for lack of a physical body. As the world is now, it would not be possible, but she must have found a suitable vessel. If Elidibus is to be believed, she readies this vessel for godhood and is perilous close to, su to success. It beggars belief. As you well know, you were the lin linchpin of her ambition. Yours was the only form that could contain the immense power Athena required, and it has long since turned to dust. As pleasant as this discussion is, we require more information if we're to unravel this mystery. You know who awaits you, Grey. Nemis. I fear you won't find him so cooperative as we're accustomed to. We know not how vast the space beyond these gates may be, but somewhere within lurks Athena, with Elidibus leashed at her side. This may be a simplistic theory, but hear me out. If Emis arose from his memories intact, we will be eager to see reason. We need only break the magics that bind him to regain, regain our old ally. So weird to think of Elidibus as an ally after 
everything. <laughs> when I had fallen under Heppy's influence, you didn't stop trying until I was freed. I would ask that you do the same for Themis. No, none of us are real in the conventional sense. I feel it must be done. Themis would never have wished to be your enemy. While Eric's perspective is a sentimental one, Elidibus may possess privileged knowledge. To question him unimpeded by magics would be ideal. Aji broke free of her bonds in her final moments, suggesting that Athena's hold weakens under the weight of combat. You might use the simple principle to unshackle Elidibus's mind. Eldibus. Uh, but remember that our very nature is fragile. Even if he inhibits a vessel with which to meet you in battle, I am certain it is not meant to endure. If left weakened for too long, his aether may dissipate back into the ethereal sea. Yet best act quickly. That is so cool looking. I love it. Eleven circle, let's -a go. Wow, it's Amarok music. I suppose I have Athena to thank for this incarnation. I have long considered how I might stand against you. It's I been admit. So long since we've heard a little bit of transformation. Voice being I present to you my truth. I am Elidibus. Whoa! This is so cool! This is really cool. My heart quivers in anticipation. Light embrace or darkness consume. Worthy to exist. I love trying to figure out what the heck to do to when doing raids.
Oh, do not stand on that yet. Will light embrace or darkness consume? Will you be judged worthy to exist? I was out exist? of that! I was out of it! I hate server lag! Now to take your measure! are not for you to wield. To figure out what the heck is going on. Will you be judged worthy to exist? Embrace or darkness consume. Dang it, I touched the wall. <laughs> no, <laughs> for victory. What a fail! What a fail. My bad. <laughs> I was just trying to get out of the aggro, the no no area. Warriors forged in my own image. These magics are not for you to wield. I 
I'm also usually dead for it too, so you know. Now to take your mega. These magics are not for you to wield. To exist. I like it though. I this seems a little more challenging than the previous two, and I like that. Yay! We did it! So cool. again. I was slowly picking up on stuff. And by stuff, I mean mechanics. I guess. I appreciate it. A lot of it was like, I just didn't react quick enough, but it's my first time doing it, so... You know, the more you do this, the better you get. But yeah. I got the sweep emote during one of the, um... Irregular Tomestone events. The last one they did, I think. I think. I forgot how I got it. I'm pretty sure that's where I got it from, though. I need to do this, like, closer to Elidibus. Hold on. through the windows? Oh, you can! So... Is this where the convocation would go to sit? When they'd have meetings? One... Let's see. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fourteen. Yeah, there's fourteen seats. Yep, that's cool. That's really cool. I like it. Show me where a Zim seat is, so I shall sit. I need to sit on my throne. <laughs> this is cool. That's so cool how you can see Amarat through the windows. Uh, party member screen? No, oh, the chamber of 14? Not that. A 
because of this. When I press U, it tells me to leave. I forget where, um... I forget some of my commands. Yeah, I, I know it's the 14th seat, but like they're not labeled one, two, three, or four. So like, how do I know which one is the 14th? So I was joking about like, show me where my seat is. <laughs> Cause like, it's not, the, the chairs aren't labeled. Oh, social party member. Oh. Oh, the chamber of 14. Would you look at that? That's wild. I feel like Emissary would have like best seat. Best seat in the house. Maybe like the middle seat. Would this be a little bit of seat? Hey. Hey, 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 sir. Sir. Um. Dang it, hold on. Sir, I need you to tell me, uh, where's your seat? Where's your seat, sir? Where do I sit? Where do I sit? This is awkward, I don't know, it's my first time here! Where do I sit? You seem a little out of breath, it's okay, it's okay, just, just get it together, just tell me, tell me, uh, here, tell, tell me where we all go. <laughs> Me over here just straight up chilling. While this poor man is like defeated. <laughs> alright, alright, enough goofing and gaffing. Let's cue the cutscene. Uh let's see. I assume they go clockwise from the door. Those would be the third the, uh, the third seat, Emmett. The room is so big I can only imagine everyone just yelling at each other. If they go in order of the stones and the encyclopedia, that is them is the one close to the door on the left. I almost went to the right. Oh, look! There's my seat. My beautiful seat. My beautiful throne. Except I'm not actually the real Zim, but it's fine. I shall take the real Zim's seat. Let me get over there. Just let me get there. All right, all right. Let's go now. Whoop! Wrong button. Now let's cue the cutscene. the sinister music. The fog has lifted. I knew that Athena's magics magnified the desires of their victim at the expense of aught else, but I never guessed what desires... what desire of mine she could exploit. Since the moment we met, I have made plain my interest in you, my desire to understand your nature. I suppose that curiosity extended to how each of us would fare in a match of strength. What is this? Ooh. He's free. Free? Then I am no longer needed. Do not look so crestfallen, my friend. These few moments of clarity are more than I could have asked for. Wait. Ye Didn't we kneel down in front of Elidibus just like this? In Shadowbringers? Right before he left? Or, like, at some point? At some point? <clears throat> uh, your work isn't over. 
You must render judgment of Athena's action. We'll go with the middle one, I guess. I might be confusing another cutscene with something else. This warmth. Your aether. Grasp the fraying you've grasped the fraying strands of my being and tied them together with your own. Nevertheless, I fear that I am here on borrowed time. I only hope that I can see you through the last of our battles. Until then, I will cherish every moment. This seems very familiar. I am Elidibus, the emissary. As such, it falls upon me to judge Athena, who would disrupt our carefully maintained balance to fulfill her own desires. I swear, I shall not waver in this duty. Let us return to Eric and La Habrea. There is much I would share with you before we embark upon our final ascent. I kind of don't want this to end. I don't- like, I'm really enjoying this. I kind of don't want them to go. Why am I getting teary-eyed? Why do I always get so teary-eyed when I play this game? Ah! That just whole cutscene just felt so... familiar. It just kind of took me back to, like, Shadowbringers a little bit. The setting was way different in Shadowbringers when talking to Elidibus and everything, but... It just kind of like, I got like this wave of just like, memories of everything that we've been through. <sighs> this game, man, this game. I wasn't really expecting to cry, but like, I... Anything that involves the Asians, I just get so excited about, and I hate to see all of them go, you know? Even if they, like, do bad things, like, I just find the Asians so intriguing. And I just constantly want to spend more time with them and learn more and more and more about them. I know, 14 does pull on the heartstrings so hard. They really do. No, you're fine, lady. You're fine. <laughs> you're, you're fine. You're fine. It's my fault for, like, setting it as, uh, the danger ball goes. <laughs> but you're good. I'm able to kind of, like, ignore the chat sound and focus on the story. Well. If it never ends, then it will never be a memory. Yeah, that is true. This is why I take a lot of photos so I can look back. And then this is also why I watch my cutscenes a lot too. I'd be, I'd be guilty if I said I haven't gone back and watched the Elpis cutscenes just to see my favorite characters again. <sighs> Hi, Cat Lord. <laughs> Welcome on in. How's it going? I got emotional. <laughs> Thank you for the hug, shrimp. Uh, I know. I know. I'd be crying. You had me tearing up while eating my McDonald's. <laughs> ah, at least you have your McDonald's. How's your Maccas? What did you get? I always like to eat their chicken nuggets. <laughs> Thank you guys for doing those daily cupcakes. What did I walk into? You just walked into me getting emotional. Because this game pulls on my heartstrings too much. 
that's what you uh, walked into. Oh, oh, this game, this game. Nuggies and fries. Oh, that sounds good. I want some chicken nuggets and fries from the Maccas. My friend, is there not a chick lady near you? Actually, there is. <laughs> Look, sometimes you have to eat shit to your food <laughs> when you're drowning out your feelings. <laughs> Like, I can make very good tacos, but sometimes you just need the Taco Bell. <laughs> In a world full of McDonald's, you deserve a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I love that. I have considered making a channel of Discord for just quotes that get said in my streams, and I really want to add that. <laughs> You're so right, though. You're so right. But sometimes you just need the Mickey D's, okay? <laughs> I order uh, sheets partly because they're open at the hours when I need comfort food. I've never heard of sheets. But I would imagine the equivalent to that would be, for me, would be Whataburger. <laughs> I like Whataburger. Ugh. Cal, do we have our sheets here? Do we have a sheets here? Oh, it's like, oh, like Bucky's. Oh. Well, this instantly made me feel better. <laughs> a combination gas station restaurant. Oh, okay, so now I get the Bucky's. We don't know, oh, okay. That's why I was like, wait, maybe it's a, uh, maybe there's one here in the, in the area. In the AOE <clears throat> They're in North Carolina everywhere. Oh, okay. Well, when I'm there for a special occasion in December, maybe I can stop by a sheets. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Shrimp, I think we have to stop by our sheets when we're there in December <laughs> for a very special occasion. Um, I have to be careful about the 2 a.m. IHOP orders. I will order away uh, 400 pounds. Bro, that's a mood! IHOP coming in with them calories. I love to get the uh, the cupcake pancakes. And I swear it's like 4,000 calories. <laughs> but it good. But it good. <laughs> um... I didn't know I had a fellow North Carolina friends here. So Cal is an IRL friend of mine and Shrimp. They're kinda in my area and kinda kinda in your area, <laughs> Cat Lord. I'm in the Yeah yeah yeah. So So Cal is in my area. That explains why things are happening. I'm not gonna call it shenanigans, it's not shenanigans. That explains why uh, the special occasion's happening in North Carolina. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, why? Why North Carolina? That makes a lot more sense, though. <clears throat> You're in Winston? Uh, I hear Winston and I think Overwatch. I didn't know if you wanted me to say, Cal. You're in Ohio? Uh, Kong is also in Ohio. I didn't want to like dox too much or nothing, you know. I was like in the same area, but then I'm like, wait, everyone knows I'm in Houston, so. <laughs> so Cal is getting married in December. And me and Shrimp are gonna be there in the north of the Carolinas for the special occasion. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to go to the Carolinas. Like, easily top place I want to go visit in the US. So I'm very excited about this. What's this, like, 45 minutes from me? Oh! Okay, okay! Winston Salem, to be precise. Oh, okay. I've never heard of Winston. I, I immediately jumped to Overwatch because my brain had to default to something. <laughs> um, let's see. Besides, I plan to move the next year, too. Okay. I... Only share within your means and with what you're comfortable, and as long as you feel, um, you know, safe. 
That's all that matters. I'm in I'm in Houston. I'm in Texas. Y'all better say hello to me. I'll I'll just wave. I'll wave because you'll be in Labyrinth Jail, so I'll just wave from the other side. <laughs> bring bug spray in December? We have to bring bug spray in December? Isn't that when the bugs die? Well not die, but like back off for a bit. Yeah, we're going to the North Caribbean! Oh, cry. Maybe, maybe we can plan like a meetup at Sheets. <laughs> Gas station meetup at Sheets. <laughs> Let's see. This Bree and my fave city is North Carolina. It's about one and a half from the venue, so it's a good trip. Oh, okay, okay. It's like not too bad in Texas time, but in North Carolina time, I guess that is a pretty good trip. <laughs> Deep in the woods so bugs never die. Okay, that makes way more sense. I grew up in the middle of nowhere. And there's always bugs. The buggies never go away. I'm very on brand for North Carolina. <laughs> if Bree can jump in, we can do the last one. Oh, yeah, is Bree available? Oh, a fun trip. Okay. I didn't know if you think. Okay, come on, Cal. Like, we live in Texas. Good trip means, like, <laughs> that's a good distance. <laughs> Aww, she working. No worries. Oh, but you can ask. Okay then. While you ask, let me turn in this quest. <laughs> Whenever we finish the fourth one, we can yap away. <laughs> Themis, it's good to see you. I knew Gray would guide you to our side once again. I am grateful she had the patience to tolerate my lapse in manners. Athena's hold upon me is broken, and I pledge every moment of my remaining time to see that she answer for her deeds. Very good. To that end, I would have you share what you know of her plan. Of course, as I mentioned, Athena possesses a vessel that may serve in the creation of a god. It is someone Grey knows well, a man by the name of Claudian. By a twist of fate, his body proved to be ideal for Athena's purpose. I like how she plucks this random person that works in Old Charlotte. <laughs> and I was like, yep, that's the right body. <laughs> I feel bad for Claudian, but it's just funny. The creation of a person requires not just body, soul, or memory, but rather all three. We are made from the memories of our ancient counterparts, etched upon drifting souls, and given form through the infusion of Aether. We lack a physical body, yet you can see and feel us all the same. You just have to hear, feel, think, you know? That's all. You just gotta hear, feel, think. Athena is different. She has carved her memories into Claudian's soul while it was still within its body, and thus made both her own. But even she is prone to error. After the sundering beings after the sundering, beings became more fragile in both body and soul, and this difference prevents Athena from realizing the full extent of her desires. So that's why she has turned her sights towards Grey. Her uncommon strength Rivals even the mightiest of our age. By scrutinizing her feats in battle, Athena aims to deduce the secret of Grey Parsing's prowess and use it to fortify her own vessel. Only then will the culmination of her research be at hand. I like how they need a Grey Parsing e-girl to go fight off Athena. <laughs> a god. A god. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> we 
We have to save Claudian. We can't simply remove Athena's memories from Claudian's body. Uh, then to fight Athena, we must fight Claudian as well. I kind of like the third one. We'll just go with the third one. Not that it, like, matters. We need not hasten to the main's destruction. Man's destruction. My bad. Athena can inscribe herself upon another soul, but she cannot era erase its will. If we awaken Claudian's spirit to the reality of his bondage, he might be compelled to wrest his body from Athena's clutches. So wild to be working alongside a little bit in La Habrea. <laughs> we still don't know why she chose Claudian. What makes him more suited than anyone else? Although I have never spoken to Claudian, I did witness an incident that may prove revelatory. When instru instructing the vessel to do her bidding, she called it by a familiar name, Eric. What? Why would she? It is as I thought. I feel like it ended in, like, the middle of a thought. Oops. Actually hit my Windows key. You turn up the mu- the, the music is very loud in my headset. I got that music up. The red mask guy is a dilf? That would be La Habrea, Cat Lord. La Habrea. Uh, okay. She's logging on. Yay! Oh, yeah, yeah. Shrimp has an assy mask too, but his he has to paint. The one that I have, both of them came off of Etsy, but the one that I got, uh, they only had one, one left. So I snagged it. And then I ordered a different one, and it's like the same, but it's just not painted. So Shrimp has to paint it. Being three times bigger than her body? Well, I'm a Reaper. I'm a Reaper. Reapers need big sights! You know what I could do? Ooh! Do you think... I want to make a kite cosplay from, um... From Hunter x Hunter? Get a big old scythe, a white dress kind of thing going on. Do like a gender bin kite cosplay? I think that'd be really cool. A mother's touch. La Habrea would discuss the plan to bring about Athena's end. Nemes, you may have just handed us the key to rescuing Claudian. What must we do? First and foremost, we must confront Athena. She must be vulnerable as Elidibus was. Yet, our opponent stands on the verge of godhood. As we are now, she would unmake us in an instant. Pray, we have no choice but to place the burden of our fate, and the fate of many more besides, squarely upon your shoulders. I trust you have no objections. God, I know I shall cast her down. It's a burden I'm using to- I'm used to carrying? Objections open. Yes. Uh, whatever. I guess the first one. We got this! La Habia. If you have faith in your victory, then so do I. And we all appreciate Grey Parsing's willingness to fling herself at the unknown. However, we have yet to hear how this will liberate Claude again. I have a plan. Do not trouble yourself over the details. The same goes for you, Gray. You must focus the entirety of your... Oh, excuse me. I had some hiccups. The entirety of your attention on Athena. She will not be easily bested, even by one of your prow prowess. Then let us trust in La Habrea and prepare for the battle to come.
Before we face Athena, I must know. If she had ever discovered the Aura Site, had never fallen under influence, would she have lived a normal life? Would she have been a mother to me? I have asked myself the same questions. Questions with no answers, I fear. But let us put them out of our minds. There is something we must discuss, and I would do so not as Lahabrea, but as father to his son. The twelfth circle. The final circle. Let's take and go. Whoa! This is cool looking. Ooh! I like those little waves going on. Feathers? You have done well to reach the seat of godhood. Looks like now, a bunch of light wardens flying bear around Bear your her. souls to me. Alright, alright. Music going up in my headset. This is cool. She looks gorgeous! I need to do this cosplay. I like this song too. This is this is a banger. Wow, so pretty. Show me your all, that I might become Divinity Manifest! You cannot escape my eternal gaze. I assume this side because of the wing. Ah! 
away on that one. It's just server lag. To silent vessels, I give voice. I don't know where we're all standing. Okay. Well, there goes the map.
Butterfly wings are so big. The pitch of the seven hells to the pinnacle of the heavens, the world shall tremble! The world shall tremble! Such a singularly resolute soul. I'ma do it! These chains are forged from the fabric of creation. There we 
we go. There we go. That's what happens when your hands mess up on the keyboard. Today, oh, my theory shall be proven as fuck. Cracked left and right. There's your pushback mechanic. I know. I got what I asked for. Whoopsies. My hands got off of ASWD. And I was like, oh my god, where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? These chains are forged from the fabric of creation. I really like this song. Shine brilliant for me. Uh, I can't get over there. Okay, now you I'm cannot here. escape my eternal gaze. Again. Today, my theory shall be proven as fucked. Your reflexes. Soon, <laughs> Thank you for that, Dark. Oh! Too soon! Too soon! Too soon! I'm sorry! <laughs> I thought we were ready. <laughs> you cannot escape my eternal gaze. Sloppy. Very sloppy. <laughs> Very sloppy. Sloppy. <laughs> Thank you guys for redeeming this sloppy. Uh, I think I'm okay on the repairs. I should be fine. Drive safe, Kong! Drive safe! We go again. I love the interest to it. You have done well to reach the, reach the seat of God. Now bear your souls to me. Hear intense music. It's that's really cool. 
That is really cool. I'm sitting for Athena over here. Oh, I'm sorry, Cat Lord. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get in the way of your simp thing. Dark, how's it going? How you doing? Welcome on in. Okay, this time we're not gonna jet out there real quick. So delayed. Some of my mechanics are like going off really delayed. Shine brilliant for me. Right there, if I had moved. Strength. 
We did a lot better with this DPS check this time. From the deepest pitch of the seven hells to the pinnacle of the heavens, the world shall tremble! Singularly resolute soul. These chains are purged from the fabric of creation. Shine brilliant for me! You cannot escape my eternal gaze. Did I leave all droid? Okay. Um. I'll let you know if uh. That was so dumb. <laughs> Today, my theory shall I'll let you know if there's a, a open space for you, Cog. Chose the most spectacular time to do the limit break. It had to be done. These chains are forged from the fabric of creation. on dodging when I do that. <laughs> Oh. 
chains are forged from the fabric of creation. This is the run. I I hope so. I hope we can do it. We're doing a lot better this time around, I think. To silent vessels, I give voice. Shine brilliant for me! after this release? Oh, I bet. I bet. Oh, that's cool. And you'll wind up Athena. That is some teamwork right there. Sweep, sweep. Sweep, sweep. So, all right, let's cue the cutscene. Countless years I waited within the stifling crystal, and now, when my dream is finally within reach, you stand in my way. Your dream is not but selfish ambition. Its fulfillment would benefit only you. 
And why, Athena? At the end of this road to godhood, what did you hope to find? It matters not. The fact remains that she worked against the interests of the star. Even so, I would hear her answer. I would know why my mother cast us aside. Oh, her mask fell. Interesting. How unlike you, Eric. You were never so inquisitive before. Having stuck upon a hypothesis, there is but one thing the wise woman desires. Oh. That's creepy. I kind of want to screenshot that, though. It's kind of funny. <laughs> She's like, hey, yo, 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 you got any, you got any games on your phone? That's the look of, you got any games on your phone? <laughs> Irrefutable proof. This lady is a little crazy. My theory was that any true god would see us as we are, imperfect. She would hammer out our flaws and build something greater. To prove this could not but benefit the star, I would give it the perfect stewards that it might shine brighter than any other. And you would destroy the lives already upon it? In that, I am no different from our peers. Over the course of eons, how many creations have we wrought? Such creatures cannot but usher the inferior predecessors into oblivion. Hmm. The word oblivion again. Even without our meddling, nature would take the selfsame course. If the destination is the same, it is somehow worse to arrive there by the guidance of a god? I think not. The Aurasite made such thoughts irresistible, perhaps, but it cannot have created them from whole cloth. This... This is Athena's truth. Wow. What right have you to pass judgment? You were but a vessel for my masterwork. Your purpose ends there. My only mistake was leaving you possessed of a soul. What are you saying? Poor Eric, always the last to arrive at the obvious conclusion. She is so mean to her son. I gave birth to you for a single reason, that you might serve as my tool. And like any tool, I crafted you to suit my needs, that you might accept my essence when the time came. Wow, mother of the year award goes to her, Jesus. Of course, I also made you more amenable to my demands and ensured that you would feel a cloying affection for your dear mother. However, it seems that my tinkering was insufficient. My very feelings were of your design. Oh. Oh, what is she doing? You created a boy unable to grasp even the simplest magic, ever hopelessly clinging to his mother's robes, unable to do otherwise. I was doomed from the start. Yet here you are, standing in defiance of her design. You are more than what she made you. I still feel the sting of it, but with pain comes clarity. You ill deserve to wear the mantle of a god. 
As stubborn as you are witless, if this star will not be mine, then it serves no purpose. Actually crazy. She aims to obliterate the ethereal sea and stem the flow of life. She will do no such thing. Before the battle, Lahabrea told me I was the key to finishing this. Although I am but an illusion, my soul has crossed eons to find its home in another. One whose body Athena has seen fit to purloin as her own. This music is so intense, I love it. Much of what I once was now resides in him. Should my memory seize this chance to follow suit, it may resound enough to wake his mind. But Athena inhabits him still. What will become of you? I don't know, but if I can ruse his soul, perhaps it will disrupt Athena's hold. It's the best chance we have. My whole life, others have looked down upon me, but I've never given up searching for my purpose. Now, i found it. This decision is yours to make and yours alone. Do as you will, my son. I know you shall make me proud. Eric, do not dare. No, stop this. Your words hold sway over me no longer. My life is my own. And I have found my true family. Get her, Eric! Get her! He just pushes her off the ledge. Ugh! My power wanes. The vessel rejects me. Bye bye Claudian! What is happening? Athena's magic should be impotent with no body to fuel them. Precisely. Athena was the sole force holding the space around Pandemonium together, and now it crumbles. Although little would change if we were buried here. We cannot let this be Grey's final resting place. Of all my miscalculations, to think that you would be my undoing, that you would even be capable of defying me. Ah, uh, is this where... Oh, is, is there more you would say to me? Or have you decided to return to your dear mother's bosom? Have you brought Claudian back to me? Apologies, but I am only the dregs of your own memory. I could do naught but watch as the evil you've wrought collapse, bearing you under its weight. How disappointing. Truly useless to the last. Eesh. And who made me that way?
Wow, we saved everyone once again. Wow, the ethereal sea. I just got the chills looking at it from that point of view. Is this the last time I'm going to see, see these two? Wow. Okay then, man of no words. Question. Questions and more questions. Why did Claudian set out by himself? What did he see? Oh, I do hope he wakes up soon. At least on the surface, Professor Claudian appears unharmed. We must wait for him to regain consciousness to judge anything beyond that, I fear. Hi, Puds! How's it going? Welcome on in. How are ya? It was an earthquake. Mwah! The psycho girlfriend meme comes to mind. Actually, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Mother knows best. Oh, Cat Lord. Oh, oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Although Eric was not but a collection of memories, I know his absence pains you. But he acted with resolve, full aware of the potential consequences. Let us look back on this moment, not with sorrow, but with pride. You both are the heroes of the day. Athena's ambitions would have swallowed the world had you not stemmed their, their advance. We shall stay here, both to look over Professor Claudian and ensure that there are no further disturbances in the ethereal sea. You should rest, and I will not take no for an answer. We shall stay here and wait for Claudius. Okay. I was just hoping he had more to say. Guided by the past. La Habrea watches over Claudian with concern. It seems we can do naught but wait. Perhaps we might discuss a matter which has been troubling me. While your colleague Nim Gigi was enlightening us on the historical events which led to this era, she let slip the name of one of the Asians, La Habrea. Although she knew of the figure only from her research, she was most insistent that there is no evidence connecting the Asian to myself. Yet, I'm aware that this La Habrea used the heart of Sabiq to, sh to sow chaos throughout your world, and I would be a fool to deny such strong connections between us. You are the only one pr uh, present. You are the only one present who has met the Asian in question. So I'd ask you directly, are he and I one and the same? Is my fate to work in the shadows and bring about untold destruction? I mean, you and everybody else. Oh, uh, don't. I mean, you are him. Don't know what to tell you. Y'all are. I see. If you say it is so, there is no reason to disbelieve it. These Asians, or Paragons, I'm told, were ruthless in their schemes to rejoin the Sundered Worlds. I have heard but a small number of their deeds, and still I find it difficult to comprehend the depths to which they were willing to sink. To choose a path of evil, all for the sake of the star. I admit, tis, tis a decision I would make under the right circumstances. Although the ages may take their toll, my devotion to my duty will never waver. Paying no heed to what, what might be lost, I will treat the heart of Sabiq as a mere tool for my own ends. 
Never caring to look beyond the surface, I will unleash forces that I fail to truly comprehend and remain blissfully ignorant of my hypocrisy all the while. Ah, it appears Claudian has awakened. Gray, I have some faint memories of what transpired. You stood against Athena and won. And you were there too. Lahabrea, Eric's memories of you dwell within me still. Though unyielding discipline, you hoped to forge a son equal to yourself, but the crucible you placed him in left scars which were loath to heal. Yet, you were never motivated by selfless selfishness. All you did was in, in service of your duty. At the least, I... I will hear no more. Though you may possess Eric's memories, you are not him. In rebirth, you have become someone else entirely, and you belong to his age. Or this age. As such, I am your enemy, and an enemy does not deserve sympathy. Of course, I would never condone the actions of the Asian, But you are not him. You are Lahabrea of the Convocation. You spared no effort in saving us from Athena's machinations. For that, you deserve the utmost praise and my personal thanks. If you insist on deceiving yourself, then so be it. My stance remains unchanged. The most difficult of your trials is behind you, but you may find that Pandemonium has yet to relinquish the last of its secrets. Among them is the identity of Hepi's Liberator, who set the very first wheels in motion. There is but one place to find these answers, the past. Do I get to go back to Elpis? However, I must insist that you keep silent about Athena's fate. While I doubt it would change the decisions I make, you should not tender us information we could not uncover ourselves. Make sense? Now that I have said my piece, I shall follow in my, so in my son's footsteps. Goodbye! These odious memories will fade to nothing. As always, their fate. Farewell. My time too draws near, but I believe I can stay long enough to s to see this matter through. You shall journey to the past to seek the truth of Lahabrea's words, yes. While Themis himself may have been there to see this encounter, I have the unique opportunity to hear your perspective on the matter. That is, of course, if you will share it with me. I look forward to it. Now she'll take in the ethereal sea one final time as I await your return. You cannot be so serious and then come out with a quest complete sound.
Now all that is left to return to Pandemonium and ask La Habrea to shed light upon its few remaining mysteries. I look forward to your return. Okay. Uh... I too shall stay here and await your return. I could use the rest, and there is a matter I would discuss with you and Themis before we say our farewells. I believe we yet to see the full effect of these events we'll have on the Ethereal Sea. Once Professor Claudine recovers, we must conduct a thorough investigation. Rosano and I shall return to Aporia and make our report to Master Fortuno. Uh, at once. Oh, where to begin? Is this the last time I get to be in the Ethereal Sea? For now? Thank you for showing off your sprinkles, smuts! They left him on the floor instead of putting him on a bed? Well, they couldn't really disturb his body. I don't want it to be the last time. I like it here. It's just so calming. I don't know why I feel so sad, but I do. All right. Bye, Ethereal Sea! A really beautiful place. That is true. That is true, lady. Let's get deep party sounds. They do this all the time, Slackens. All the time. I think a part of me is kind of sad that, like, for now, I can go to Elpis whenever, but, like, as far as Elpis being involved in the story, it's kind of, like, over in a way. And I just really like this place, and I really like when the story takes me here. I need to go, I think. It's Hegemon. Ah, you must be Grey. I am a Hegemon, key ward of Abyssos, but I suspect you already know that. We did meet once before, after all, although I was not entirely myself at the time. Thanks to you, however, I can rightly say my faculties are mine once more. At present, I am taking stock of the damage done to the facility. How's it going? Welcome on in. Hello, hello. That Athena would build all this? This isn't all she's left behind. Got anything to say? Nope. 
Okay. Hello, everybody! Thank you for checking up on us. Did you speak with Hegemon and the other warders on your way here? Actually, I did! I did! The work is long, but we have made great strides in undoing Athena's meddling. Gray, I didn't expect you to see to see you again so soon, but tis always a joy. You seem quite happy to be here. Because I am happy to be here! What do you mean? Gray, truth be told, I thought you would have little reason to ever visit this place again. It seems I was wrong. I just want to say hello. <laughs> Hi! How neatly you off obfuscate your motivations. Do as you will, then. She has gone through the trouble to visit us, so I hardly think her... Curtness is in order. We braved pandemonium together. Why not at least share with her our progress? I have relinquished control of pandemonium to La Hebrea. I was never meant to hold it for long. And now such authority resides in rightful hands. With La Hebrea's help, we have poured through Athena's research into the Hemithioi. Thus, were we able to restore Edgemon's mind and body. Yet, there is still much work to be done. Damage to repair, keywords to replace. The tasks are too many to count. But although the path may be long, our progress is steady. I believe we can safely say that Pandemonium will soon function as it did before. Indeed. Before we reach that point, however, there are some matters which must be put to rest. One concerns pandemonium itself, and another is a personal matter. Until they are settled, I cannot move forward. I shall not take long. The lack of resolve caused me to delay, but I have chosen my course. These concerns must be weighty indeed. Did you intend to share your burdens with us? If you would bear witness, then come. Your arrival at this very moment almost beggars belief, but I shall not ask you to leave. I simply ask that you do not interfere no matter what may happen. Stay here. This will be over soon. Why did you call me here, Master La Habrea? There is still much to be done if the warders are to be freed. Hi, Nicole! How's it going? Welcome on in. You have served with Pandemonium since Athena's time, have you not? That makes you the most senior keyword, now that Agi is gone. As such, you deserve to know a secret few others are privileged to hear. One concerning myself. Separating Hepi from myself required removing part of my soul. A necessary sacrifice, but one which came at no small cost to my natural talents. I am but a shadow of the man I was at the time of my appointment as, the, as La Hebrea. I can never hope to wield the same magics as Hepi used to bind the warder's mind, let, a, let alone break their shackles. Howdy! How's it going, Nicole? How are you? Welcome on in. 
That tone of defeat does not befit your voice, Master Lahabria. Do not give in to, dis in to despair. There is no despair, only truth. I do not confide in you to garner cheap sympathy. Pepe left behind fascinating research. His conclusion was that in order to transform a vessel into a hemotheos, absolute control over their mind was essential. As you well know, the magics used to achieve such dominion exploited strong emotions within their victims' hearts. In the case of Hesperos and Agi, their respect for me. Upon slipping his bonds, Hepi took steps to throw pandemonium into chaos. With their attention divided, key word and warder alike were easy targets. But there was an act that came before, regardless of Hepi's prow prowess, he could not have won freedom on his own. For long days and nights, I pondered who might have released him. I could only conclude that Athena's plans were set in motion long, long ago, when she claimed the mind of one of her admirers. Uh-oh. Hegemon. None would question your pride in your position, your devotion to pandemonium. But you do not believe I am the one fit to lead it, do you? Your loyalty lies not with my vision for pandemonium, but Athena's. Dun dun dun! Master Lahabrea, whatever has spurred the sudden accusation, I assure you there is a proper explanation. What are you doing, Lahabrea? Do not approach! As I have already stated, even should I detect Athena's tinkering, I am currently powerless to dispel it. And so I have come to a decision, one which was made with the best interest of our star in mind. In order to build a better future, I require the strength I have lost. I must embrace the odious memories. Mark well this sight. Engrave it upon your very soul. Whoa. This is cool. You now bear witness to the true La Hebrea. Oh! Scorched her. I cannot imagine this was an easy choice, but it is done. Is she alive? Yes, and she shall remember this lesson well. Athena's puppet no longer, I see. She may yet harbor ill, war, Ill will toward me, but that is a risk I am willing to take. Our star requires a steady hand to guide it, and now mine is equal to the task. I can no longer allow pandemonium to divert my focus. Hegemon, I would ask that you serve me anew. There is no more, no other more suited to overseeing this prison. None other who will take such pride in their duty. My loyalty to Athena led me to betray you once before. Why would you allow me to keep the position of Keyword? I require your talents. As I require Hepi's. The past is of no consequence.
Very well. In honor of our fallen colleagues, I shall restore this institution to its former glory. La Habrea is himself once more. He wields his authority without hesitation and thinks not twice once his judgment has sounded. Yet he is different from Athena. He thinks only of the betterment of the star. So long as his, uh, as long, so long as duty guides his actions, he shall not share her fate. And should his convictions ever waver, the emissary will set him back on the proper course. Good. If this is the path he chooses to walk, then I will walk with him. I'll allow our bond to fray no further. As his son, I will support him in the days ahead. I would not ask you to say the same, Gray. You and I stand on peaks separated by vast chasms. Our perspectives shall never align. And never shall one give way to the other, for such is our nature. With that in mind, let us consider any debts between us to be void. Before you leave here, mark well these words. My resolve shall weather loss unfathomable, and yields before no obstacle. Walk your path with the same conviction. don't like La Habrea, but it's crazy that we, like, worked with him for a bit, but, like, I still don't like him, and yet I still feel sad because I don't want to leave them. Make these feelings make sense! <laughs> Happy and La Habrea were one, of, one and the same when he was named as one of the convocation. This change poses no need for concern, for all is as it should be. Master La Habrea saw through me long ago, but now my mind is unclouded by doubt, and I shall not fail him again. From this day forward, I will do what I can to aid my father, and this way I shall forge my own future. If not for you, my long slumbering demons may have gone unslain. I would have never been forced to reconsider my true nature, Yet, as I said, do not consider this an admission of debt. Now, I believe you have other places to be. Remain here any longer, and I may be inclined to place you in a cell next to one of our more... Re rec recalcit recalcitrant? Whatever. Subjects. Okay. Huh. One more picture for the road. One for the road. He's like GTFO, basically. <laughs> He's kicking us out. He kicked us to the curb. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Guided by the past. Speak with Claudian. Wait. Wait, but like... No. No. Just... Bye, Pandemonium. I'm not quite ready to leave, Flo. I'm not quite ready to leave, Elphys. I can come here whenever I want, but still, it's not the same when it's like not involving the story. 
I'll have to do the side quest here for sure. I just really like this area. Okay. We do! We have to do the treasure map hunt so I can get my little wind up hippie. That's like the minion that I want. <laughs> I want the Ozma mount and I want the wind up hippie. God, I hate this song. This song, like, kills my mood sometimes. <laughs> I just don't like it. It's like nails on a chalkboard when I hear it. Like, I don't feel that way about any other song in this game except for that one. Alright, back to the ethereal sea. One last time. For now. <laughs> oh, hello. Ah, oh, you are returned. I should like to hear what you discovered, though I believe your friend has business with us first. There you are, Gray. While you were away, Themis brought me up to speed on all that happened while I was held prisoner. His story shone light upon any number of questions that were niggling at my conscious. Uh, conscious. Namely, those concerning the ethereal signature emanating from Azu's Law. Doubtless its source was Athena. Excuse you? Okay, some random app just opened up on my computer. Doubtless its source was Athena, reaching out as far as she could from her prison, ever grasping for someone to take Eric's place, grasping for the body his soul resided in. I wanted to ask... When you first found the crystal, were you unable to hear the memory stored within? Indeed, it was only after our research was well underway that I could hearken to its whispers. Con uh, contact with the crystal should have weakened the memories, but the passage of time likely changed Eric's soul in subtle ways. Perhaps ethereal resonance was a gradual process in this case. However, being attuned to Eric's exposed you to Athena's voice as well. Doubtless the choice to venture forth into Azu's Law was not your own. It was Athena's influence working through you. Loki was kind of hoping we would go back to Azu's Law. Because <laughs> I think that is such a cool zone. I do recall being strangely fixated on acting alone. I never would have encouraged such recklessness usually. Although the choice was not entirely my own, I'm still ashamed of my actions. Reflection is how we plant the seeds of growth, although we must not blame ourselves even for our events out of our control. That the voice in the crystal belonged to the person from which your soul originated. Well, not even the most brilliant researcher could come to that conclusion. Your reassurance means more than you know. Thank you. Now, one final matter. It concerns the very crystal whose discovery set this adventure in motion. Perhaps sparked by recent events, a new light began to shine from within its depths. From my experience, this may indicate that a new memory has floated to the surface, eager to be observed. 
For some time, the question of, of why La Habrea and Eric would leave such a crystal behind in the first place has lingered in the back of my mind. With Eric's memories and such magical talents as are at my disposal, I believe I can make this final memory manifest for us all to behold. Shall we witness it together? I leave this memory for you, the future of our star. The final days have come, and the creation magics we have so relied upon now hasten our downfall. Aww. But despair has not yet won out. Lahabre and the others of the convocation are working to stem the chaos with threatens to engulf our star. Their plan requires great sacrifice. Elidibus. Themis. It's already offered to give his life for our salvation. Yet there is another problem which must be dealt with. Pandemonium. Wherein are confined our most vicious creations. Even should we survive the final days, it will take time to restore order. If pandemonium cells were breached and their prisoners set upon the star, our hard-won place would be obliterated in an instant. Thinking back to the final days is just kind of wrecking me again. So I must stay behind to ensure that never happens. With them is in La Habrea otherwise indisposed, that responsibility falls to me. That is why I must defy the directive of the convocation. My soul will not be offered to manifest the will of the star, but instead consigned to eternal vigil. I know that in doing so, the final days may take me. They may not live to see my duty upheld. That is why I have resolved to set this crystal adrift in the tides of the underworld. It contains memories of pandemonium from both my father and I, and shall bear this warning to the future even if I cannot. I have imbued the crystal with magics that will attract it to my essence. Even shall I journey through the underworld and be born anew, this message will reach me. Pandemonium shall not be left unattended. If all else fails, then perhaps another woman like my dear friend will come along. One with an almost unnatural ability to pick up the scent of trouble. I wonder where she is now. How many souls has she saved? And how many beasts has she slain since we last met? Alongside my warning, this memory shall carry a wish. Gray parsing, may we meet again. Now listen well. If anyone receives this message, you must come to Pandemonium. Please make haste. I repeat. <sighs> well... That dispels the last of my doubts. Thank you for humoring me. And now we come to this.
it survived. Yes, the heart of Sabiq. The tide that bound Athena's memories to my body, no doubt. When I regained my senses, I found it on my person. Now it appears your efforts have left it bereft of memories. No trace remains of Athena. However, its power as our sight yet remains, and it may prove to be a valuable trove of knowledge in the hands of the right researcher. I feel that fate has left it with me for a reason. I shall take my leave, but on behalf of my colleagues, nay, the entire star, I thank you both for putting an end to Athena's wickedness. I see. Then Hephaestus' story has been laid bare. As has the nature of our mysterious crystal, the questions which led us into Pandemonium are answered, and soon order shall be restored. His voice does not match how he looks, I'm just gonna say that. Like, he sounds like an old man, but looks like a child. <laughs> I too can fade away, unburdened by regret. I could not have reached this point without you, friend. <laughs> so many revelations. But there are more, if you would dig a little deeper. It's wild he calls us friend, and then, like, everything that we go through later on. <laughs> Elidibus's soul was plucked from the ethereal sea, and from it I was wrought. Surely you have a passing interest in what I remember. In what I feel. A little bit, yeah, actually. <laughs> you deserve what answers I can provide. While my memories of Pandemonium are clear, all else is hazy at best. Perhaps Athena made me this way, or perhaps it is the result of who or what I was before. Still, I can recall vague figures. Scenes from my future and your past. At the Crystal Tower's peak, we clash. And later, from that self-same spire, I send you forth. Into our age. Into Elpis. Why do I decide on such a course? Hmm. Formless as these images are, I cannot say. However, I can hazard a guess. Somewhere within my fragmented memories, I catch a glimpse of our journey into Pandemonium. A glimpse which shows not the path we took or the destination where it led us, yet by its very presence demands that you are required in Elpis. Hmm. Funny you say that. Hmm. 
And even if that act is but one link in the chain of events which ends in Atheris's salvation. We haven't heard the word Atheris in a really long time. Then this all has meaning. Our time together. Every moment is worthwhile, and I am unburdened by regret. That said, it is possible my motivations become something else entirely. that you would cross this vast expanse in the hopes of being reunited with your allies. <laughs> A devotion that once would have baffled me. But after having been to the depths of that twisted prison and back, I think I can understand. Now, I have pulled back the curtain as far as I dare. The people of your age call this the Ethereal Sea, a name I quite enjoy, for it teems with life, each star a soul on its journey. I really like everyone, like, before the final days. <laughs> And Elpis. And among these uncountable stars, it was yours that crossed my path. For that, I shall be forever grateful. I wish you well on your journey. A journey as long as your star is bright. A journey not bound by the confines of this world or any other. I almost kind of like feel like this is what I should hear as I like truly wrap up post Endwalker. Like I still have more story to go go to, but this is like the last thing I think I would want to be told. before truly concluding post Endwalker. I don't want to let go of Endwalker. Fascinating. The truths that dwell at the edge of sleep. Okay. The course of history is set by its victors. It is immutable, and yet... Should this star continue upon its path, Look. The light. Like he's actually drowning in the sea. That's that. <laughs> 
Turn in our quest. Welcome back, Ray. I hope you said farewell to Themis for me. Recent events have given me not only a few focus for my research, but also insight into my own origins. Truly, tis a gift I could ever hope to repay. As Lahabrea said, I am not Eric. Yet, I bear a part of him inside me, and I shall do what I can to follow the traces he has left behind in the present day. A spark has been struck in my mind. I am ready to pursue my research with a fervor the likes of which I have not had since my youth. Doubtless, I shall have need of you in the days and moons ahead. When that time comes, I only hope that you will once again lend me your sound counsel. Until then, may you fare well. And that concludes Pandemonium. really really enjoyed pandemonium that was a wild ride i didn't think that it would lead me back to like i mean i knew it would take me back to elpis but like that's the zone that just really really gets to me and then going back down to the ethereal sea like it just so much emotions getting brought back up again having to kind of like talk about the Asians' final days, and even just like for a moment when they just mentioned like Emmett Selk and Vinat, like <laughs> it's just this game is just beautiful. I love the storytelling. It makes me just like sad to kind of let go of Endwalker and like eventually I'm gonna have to move on to like the next expansion, but it just goes to show how beautifully written it is. But we still have more story to do. We still have 6.4. And we do have 6.5, which will be kind of more so setting up uh, the next expansion a bit. And then truly concluding the past 10 years and kind of setting the pace for the next 10 years to come and a whole new journey but i really enjoyed pandemonium those fights were really cool i really really liked the fights and the music was spectacular i definitely go need those orchestrations for my end game apartment um it was all really good that was some of the best music I have heard in the game, I think. I really enjoyed that. Man, that was quite the journey. Quite the journey. 